Hi everyone, I'm Jamie with Mid-Century Wasted and welcome to my crib. Come on in. Just kidding. I would never really mean that for real. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasted. back to my channel. I'm Jamie and this is Mid-Century Wasted. Today I have a home tour for you. A Christmas mid-century decor home tour. Believe it or not, I actually pulled my stuff together and I got a home tour for you. I am outside right now battling the airplanes and the kid sounds and the gardener. Oh and the FedEx truck that's driving away. I'm battling all of that sitting out here in my front yard so my neighbors can awkwardly watch me film this. So I wanted to start out here because I do have a couple little measly decorations out here and what better way to start a home tour than from the front door. But first I wanted to just sit on my stoop with you and have a little real talk <laughs> to manage your expectations about this video. I am no interior decorator. My degree is actually literally in interior architecture. So I guess I am an interior decorator, but mostly my home decor revolves around having two little wild, crazy boys. So it's not anything exceptional. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's not perfect. This is not one of those highly staged home tours where like every little leaf and every little pillow and every little thing is meticulously placed. Did I clean my house? You better believe I did. Did I shove a bunch of stuff off off camera to make it look like our house is neater than it is for this video, y you darn right. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a lived in house. This is just real. This is, you know, this is how we really do live. And I didn't want to sugarcoat it or make it look like anything fancier than what's real for us. And I love it and it's a great home and my kids are comfortable here. They can mess stuff up and we'll clean it up and things are unbreakable and whatever. It's, it's, it is the way that it is and it works for us. Also, I did not decorate as much as I normally would. This year has been horrible, not only because of COVID and what everyone is going through right now, um, we lost my grandma a week and a half ago and she was also not doing well for a couple weeks leading up to that. And during that time period is when I would normally be decorating for Christmas. So there was a lot of time spent away from home with family, visiting with her as much as I could before she passed away. And I don't regret any of that, obviously, but it just means I didn't have as much time to decorate as I normally would. I didn't go all out. Although, I mean, when you look at it, it's it's very decorated, so it's fine. Mostly you'll see like starting at the front of the house is where we just kind of didn't do anything. I know that the gardener is blasting in the background. Oh, hey, there's Penny. You can see her sneaking by and behind me. You know, as long as you have managed expectations, it'll be good. I'll just show you my vintage stuff. I got vintage, I've got mostly mid-century things, but a lot of mid-century inspired things. I bought a lot of stuff at Target. I bought a lot of stuff at Michael's over the last few years because they had a lot of new things that had the mid-century vibe that I like so much. So let me just take you in and show you loud trucks driving by. You know, this is just, this is, this is how all my videos go, really. This is no different. It's just chaos. That sums up my life. That will sum up what you see inside. Everything in my life is chaos. <laughs> Chaos with little kids, chaos with no time, chaos with gardeners, big trucks. Come on in. Well, first I'll start, I'll start with showing you what's out here. I am gonna pause for the gardener because it's getting really loud now. All right, so starting out here with our outdoor decorations, this is it. Oh yeah, we've got one little like crummy fake tree out here too. But this is the entirety of our outdoor decorations. We've got two little blow molds, Frosty the Snowman and I don't know, Chilly Willy, little penguin here. They're kind of beat up and they are also not plugged in. So yeah, like I said, this is our Charlie Brown Christmas tree version of outdoor decorations. We also have this little sign on our screen here. Dorman, established 2015 and I threw on a little pick bow 
deal. There you go. That was all I could muster this year for outdoor decor. But let's go inside, walk on in, and I'll show you my crib. Okay, so this is the view right when you first walk in the door. And of course, I've got some packages that need to be taken to the post office because hashtag reseller life. But I'm just gonna give you a quick little pan around the room and just walk around this way. And of course, there's a truck backing up and a gardener and every other sound in the world. But you know, this is, like I said, a little haphazard <laughs> home tour, Christmas home tour. There's Ollie sitting on the couch. Yeah, so there's just sort of the overview of the space. And back over here to the front. So I'm gonna start over here. Let's see if I can get a little wider angle going on there. There we go. So this little nook of the room is where my kids hang out, where they play. I mean, they play everywhere, obviously, but this is their little zone over here. Inside that closet is all of their toys shoved in there. <laughs> I have like a toy organizer cube thing in there for all of their little buckets and bins and things. And then everything else is just shoved. And um, it's working out really well, actually. Uh, it's one of the best uh, things that we've done lately is getting all their toys like out of here. <laughs> but anyway, we'll start going through some of the Christmas stuff that I've got. So since this is like the kids zone over here, all of this stuff is basically for the most part unbreakable or stuff that they can mess with, you know? So let's just walk through it. My colors that I tend to do for Christmas are the traditional red and green, but I also love throwing in my turquoise, which is my favorite color, obviously. I've said that a million times. So these little trees are just some little turquoise, obviously fake trees with some fairy lights on them that I believe I got those at Target last year, if I remember correctly. I think they were at Target. And everything that's newer was either Target or Michaels. This little table runner here was Target last year too. And then there's another little tree. And this, these are fun because the kids can just put the little ornaments and stuff on it and mess with it. And it obviously doesn't hurt anything. And then I've got this cute little Santa, like snow globe kind of deal. It just runs on its own. It's got a little light in there and it's a old fashioned telephone booth. And I believe my mother-in-law got that for me last year or the year before, I can't remember, but I love that and the kids love it too. And then all along here are the little houses. I showed these in a haul video. I think it was my Thriftmas in July video. Those little houses were in an estate sale filled with needlework items. Um, these are little plastic canvas crocheted little deals and there were five of them and they reminded me of Putt's houses and I just, I really think that they're just super adorable. So I put them here and then this runner from Target had kind of like a little snowy village vibe to it, you know? So it's kind of like a 2D, 3D little village, you know, like kid-proof village. And then I've just got my little uh, mid-century modern Christmas house and they sold that at Michael's. I remember buying that at Michael's. And of course the little bits of snow are everywhere, but I think that was two or three years ago now. Possibly, I bought that. Michael's has the cutest mid-century modern inspired Christmas decor like every year. I, I didn't go this year because of, you know, COVID and we're not really going out to the stores unless we absolutely have to. By the time I thought to look online for stuff, it was too late, everything was sold out. But again, this year they had some really, really cute stuff. And then here's this little camper trailer snow globe. Um, it's in a little mason jar. I think I got that from Nicole Nesting Haven in her Thriftmas in July sale, if I am remembering correctly. And then I've got my little paint by numbers. Those remind me of my boys because one's a brunette and one's a blonde, but that's just my everyday decor. It's always right there. So it's not really like a special Christmassy thing or anything. And then up here we have, 
I've got a little string that I clip our Christmas cards that people send us, as well as our Christmas stockings. And I've got some little string lights going up the railing to the second floor. These stockings I got on Etsy. These three for my kids and my husband. They're cool, I like them. They work well, and this one is mine. And this one my mom made when I was a kid. She made this stocking. And so I picked these ones because they were, I mean, kind of similar in a way. They were, they were the same size anyway, and I was able to get the names on them and everything. So they match well enough, but I'm not gonna get myself a new stocking because obviously I like this one. It's got the fuzzy Angora angels on there. My mom made that sometime in the 80s because I remember I was alive already when she made it because I remember picking out, there was options for what she could put right there. And I picked out bows, angels, and Christmas trees. And I remember picking out the fabric. I wanted the sparkly fabric and the fuzzy, or not fabric, the yarn. I wanted the fuzzy yarn and the sparkly yarn. So yeah, and I just like this card. Isn't that cute? It's the cutest card. I think that one and this one were from last year. I kept them because the graphics were so cute. And then these are all new cards that people have sent, including some of my vintage loving friends here from YouTube. I've been getting lots of holiday cards as well as sympathy cards because of my grandma passing away. And it's been really so sweet and heartwarming for me. You guys don't even realize how much it helps to know that you're thinking of me and you know, everyone's lost someone before and you all know how it feels. So I just appreciate it so much. So coming over here, swinging around, you can see me in the mirror. This is our vintage shadow box. We actually like just hung this up and I just decorated it. So <laughs> this is like the newest thing in our living room and we've had it for a long time. It's just been a matter of hanging it up. We got the shadow box on Facebook Marketplace. Just locally, someone was selling it and it's in really good shape. It's super old and it's now my new favorite little spot to decorate in the house but let's walk through what we've got in here. I'm gonna start with the grandest thing of all, the grandest thing ever that I've ever had in my life. This is my Michael Todd wreath. It's hard to tell because of the reflection a little bit, and I don't want to be like, hi, here's me in the middle the whole time. So I'll try to a good angle here. How oh, that works. So you can really see it in all of its glory. <laughs> it's just so good. It's so, so good. I mean, you really can't even see all of the, the details until you see it in person. And you really, like the camera just doesn't do it justice, no matter what I do. Just all oh, these little things in there. Oh, look at the kissy Santa and Mrs. Claus and the flocked deer. I mean, it's, my favorite it's my favorite it's just my favorite christmas thing that i have truly this is like number one best christmas thing i have and i'm really glad i was able to hang it here against the mirror because you can see the back of it which who would ever be that meticulous to do the back so cool. I was glad I had that little stroke of genius to hang it in front of a mirror so that you could see the back too. Cause now it's like double wreath action. It's just too cool. So here's my little things that I got in here. I've got a little sputnik -y looking ornament that's green. That's like, well, why not? And then I've got my vintage Christmas card collection. Check out the graphics on that guy. I love it. And this is just like a little vintage pick. Just a cute little one. This one is my favorite vintage Christmas card, which I'll show you why in a minute. It's not even about the cover of it. It's about what's written on the inside. And then I got this from the Thrift You Girls during one of their live sales. I just love the graphics on it. It's just everything that you would want it to be for Christmas. And this little Holt Howard golf ball in the package, I just got that from Misty recently. He's a little Santa golf ball. Is he not adorable or what? And my husband is a golf coach and he golfs. So it's like kind of extra perfect for us. And then here's 
another vintage Christmas card. I think I got that one in a mystery box from Fat Bird Finds. I'm pretty sure. And then there's this little cutie, little pixie elf cuteness. And then I've got these, this set of nesting Santas, almost kind of like Russian dolls in a way. You see they're hollow on the bottom. I believe it is missing one. There would be one right here in between these two sizes. But still, I just thought that they're really cool and I like the shape of them. I got those in a grab bag at Savers, actually, filled with all sorts of other stuff. And I just saw these like wooden, interesting shaped Santas in the bag and I was like, yeah. And then I realized that they were stacking, so really cool find there. And this is another just little piece of ephemera, Night Before Christmas, little Whitman. Copyright 1953, Whitman Publishing. You can see the great graphics on that one. Oh, and then I got that cute little vintage Christmas corsage from Dee, The Thrill of the Thrift at her live sale. And then I also have just a little, see if I can get the glare out of there. There we go. A little Christmas book. This is A Little Cowboy's Christmas. I'll just pick it up for you get the glare off of there, but there you go. Little Cowboy's Christmas. This book is completely falling apart. The cover comes all the way off. Ta-da. <laughs> this belonged to little Billy Kerber, and I don't know the date of this one off the top of my head. I might as well look for you, why not? You can see some of the illustrations too while I'm at it. 1951. Look at how cute. Just flip through some of these. really cute illustrations in this one. But like I said, it's completely falling apart. So I just keep it on display here. And oh yeah, over here, we've got the Megaphone Santa. I got that from Misty just recently. It actually like just got here um, a couple days ago. And I was like, ooh, I got the perfect spot for that. That's gonna go in my shadow box. And then I just like toss a little, another vintage pick. These, these picks are like, I feel like 70s or 80s vintage. They're not really mid-century vintage, but I don't really care. I like them. They're from my parents' Christmas stuff. And then I've got some little vintage bones on the top to hide the nails and the brackets. And then I got these, which were my like very favorite cruel items that were in the estate sale lot that I showed on my Christmas in July video with all of the needlework. It was the needlework estate sale where I just got like epic Christmas needlework things. Santa and Mrs. Claus. I mean, they're just like the cutest, the cutest things ever. I, I could not love those anymore. So that's that. Oh, we also have this little felt Christmas tree, which I might as well show you. That's the kids. You know, it's, they've got little Velcro ornaments and things so they can take them off and rearrange them. We love that little thing. They get a lot of fun out of that. But anyway, there's the shadow box. I think we're done with this area. So we'll come over here. There's not like a ton going on here. There's just this little table for my kids and it's got all of their Christmas books on there. Just haphazard. Usually it's even more haphazard than that. I don't know if this is a blanket or a tablecloth, but I think that's like from the 80s, something that my mom had in her Christmas stuff. And so I just threw that on there more to protect the table than anything else, but you know, and it just adds a little bit more red to the room. And then over here, we've got my fabulous jewelry Christmas tree, which I also showed that in my Thriftmas in July video. I just love it so much, I can't even tell you. And I ended up putting it there just because there's a plug down there and then it also goes off of the light switch, turn it on and off really easily. I don't like how the cord is hanging down, but again, everything was just kind of, I'm not gonna say half-assed this year, but it was like at least three quarter assed. <laughs> and I like how the tree, our Christmas tree balances with that tree. If you get that view, you got lights over there, lights over there, they're both trees. I don't know, I just, I thought it was a cute place to put it. Hey, Ollie. Are you a Christmas kitty? Old man. Cutie. There's the blanket folded nicely on the back of our couch that 
Ollie and Penny both like to sit on, right? Is that nice? Do you like your blanket? Purring. And then the other thing, this is actually a vintage deal here. This pillow, I believe my great grandma made this, but now I'm second guessing myself. Someone in my family made this and my mom had it and I ended up with almost all of my mom's Christmas decorations. So it's here now with us and I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's really cute. And of course it's needlepoint or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's actually called. But yeah, look at those faces. And you know, I just, I like handmade, homemade, handmade, things like that. And then the fireplace. This is just some kid proof stuff up here. It's not really anything special. Our fireplace does not have a mantle. It just has the brick. And I would love to put a real piece of wood, a wood mantle up there. And then maybe I would be more enthusiastic about decorating our fireplace mantle. And I would be able to hang the stockings off of it and everything. But as it is now, this is just as good as it's gonna be. Also the kids can reach this area and I wouldn't want to put anything breakable there because they can get to it. So that's that. And we do use our fireplace. We just had a fire going this morning. And so we have the wood down there and everything. Then over here, I just have a couple extra stockings. These, I thought would be good pet stockings. Although we only have two pets, but I have three stockings here. But I don't know, it's just nice to have extra stockings and these are vintage. I think I got them from a live sale. I wish I could remember who. I think it may have been Jeffrey, Real Nifty Vintage. I'm not even sure. I just hung that on my lawyer's bookcase or barrister's bookcase. Oh, and then up there, we've got a cute baby picture of my oldest and a bunch of wires and cords that we haven't figured out how to hide properly. But, oh, and then right here, can't forget the rocking chair. We've got a crocheted Afghan and then two cute little crocheted pillows. That was from the same estate sale as those little houses. It was that person who just did these amazing crocheted and needleworked items. Like everything was just so cool in that lot of estate sale stuff. And then of course we've got Penny Cat. I got this stuffed cat. It looks exactly like Penny, not Oliver, who I just showed you, our different, our other cat, Penny. They're both short haired orange cats, but it looks a lot like Penny. It's like freakish how much it looks like her. And so I kind of terrorize her with the stuffed version of her whenever I can. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for this side of the room. So we'll go over here this way. I wanted to start outside. Oh, come on. I can never get through this. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Trucks, all sorts of stuff happening here. Yeah. Here we go. There's FedEx. And now the gardener's being loud again. So we're going to just wait. Are you lying? Do you really have to go poop? Yeah. I need to have to poop in my bed. Go tell daddy. He's in our room. He's in mommy and daddy's room. We're gonna just keep rolling. We're gonna edit. Edit, edit. Lots of edits. All the edits. Don't mind me. This is why I can never film during the day. Leaf blowing the gutters. That's worthwhile. 